really well and uh, that later on we'll have quite a few children in here from the other group. In fact, nearly all of them come in now. And from that group, um, I've been asked to baptise quite a few children already and I had a marriage request last week. So it's great to be in the community, to be on the spot where people can come and that you're accessible to them. Events like this for the church really means a lot. We're doing things like face painting, making mocktails, and it's something that you don't normally see, that especially from a church environment. But everyone's really supportive of us, whether they're church or not church. So it's all thumbs up, and it's going really well. We've been engaging with people uh, in this way for a, a few years now, coming out over the summer to things like the carnival, to the charter fair, going onto the beach, and just meeting people where they are every day. Um, and people always come back, they remember us, they remember uh, that they, they met us at the, the Charter Fair or the, the Carnival and sometimes they come to our, our normal messy church sessions because of meeting us here. And we also have a, a Facebook page where we get a lot of reaction through that and people, people follow that to find out where we're going to be next and, and what uh, the next crazy thing that we're, we're doing is going to be. Being here within the grounds of Land Hydrock House the National Trust property, the church attracts an awful lot of visitors and we find that for over 8,000 so far this year their visit has been improved by the stories that we've been able to tell people about the history of the church. On a beautiful spring day in 1698, the youngest daughter of the house married at Van Hydrock. The wooden cross here is the original memorial that was erected on the, on the battlefield. The great thing about reading a gospel one-to-one -one is that we're constantly exposed to the person of Jesus and he is wonderfully attractive, isn't he? As we see him at a funeral, as we see him doing the most incredible thing, he's wonderfully attractive, his compassion is compelling and of course, yes, he's uncomfortable too. But as we read the pages, so he strides off them and we see him face to face. Right now there aren't words to describe how I feel. Humbled, privileged, over the world. I think I'm floating about 10 feet high. It's an amazing service. That is just the most incredible, incredibly powerful service. That, it's just amazing.
day we've had the most amazing art exhibition. We've also had um, a garden party with tea for many people. Many people in the community have come and really enjoyed themselves today. I feel quite excited about AMD because it has been a bit of an uphill struggle in this rather remote and very traditional area to encourage people to do things that maybe they haven't ever done before and not having a team around me I feel as though I will have the support of the diocese and others who are also on AMD so it's an opportunity 